Today on Made to Hack, the 2017 Hackaday Prize. So the 2017 Hackaday Prize is back. It was announced yesterday, the 20th of March, 2017. And this year's motto is build something that matters. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, every motto, every year's motto. I think last year's motto was something to do with science or uh, uh, change the world. I, I can't remember. The introduction video to the uh, 2017 uh, Hackaday Prize. Anyway, just like every year, I think there is uh, there's five... I guess sections or rounds of, of, of project building, uh, with the first one being design your concept, which began yesterday and runs till May 1st. And this one is essentially, I believe, uh, that you just design something. It doesn't have to be uh, built. It's just you have an idea, you make an image, documentation, it's supposed to solve some kind of problem. Essentially, it's a, it's a proof of concept or, or a design idea that you can get judged on. So if you don't really want to build something or you're, you don't have the skills or, or maybe the tools necessary, you can just present uh, an idea. So the first part is just really a concept idea. And then the second section this year is IUT or IOT, Internet of Useful Things. Right. It's not just going to be a toaster that tweets whenever you make toast or a um, bridge that uh, doesn't play your Spotify list whenever you open the doors. The concept is to perhaps remotely monitor some kind of installation, um, be it, as they say, some kind of farm, or maybe you have a greenhouse that you want to see the temperatures and, and the soil humidity and so on, and use the power of, of, of transmitting over the internet so that you can monitor it, or you can perhaps just uh, use big data to, to sample a large data set. Uh, take the example of uh, the project, the URAD monitor, which is a global uh, radiation monitoring uh, API, I guess, with uh, with people that are using the, the radiation detectors made by uh, the URAD team. Uh, so the idea is using the internet to, to gather data, to display it, to monitor it remotely, and not just, you know, I mean, don't build, what I'm saying is don't build a teddy bear that records kids' conversations of video and then leaks it to the internet. Please don't do that. Do something useful with the internet of useful things. So, right, that's that's the IoT segment. Um, next uh, next segment is the wheels, wings, and walkers. Projects that move. There you go. So, if you like uh, working on drones or kick-ass bicycles, uh, wheelchairs, uh, right, Flying things, walking things, uh, jumping things, anything that moves, I guess, is you know, what they're looking for, for this segment. Next one is, uh, this is the final of the ones that have parameters, is the assistive technologies. So here, um, essentially, just think of people that may have disabilities and how you can help them. So they've got uh, examples such as reliable utensils for the disabled, refreshable braille displays for image text, anything that enhances or aids with vision, sound or auditive measures uh, of motion, I guess, or, or you know, people being able to grab things if, if they have a disability of an arm or maybe even together with, with uh, the one with the wheels, wings and walkers. I mean, if, if you've got perhaps a new kind of wheelchair that can help people uh, with walking disabilities, maybe you can combine the two. I'm not really sure, but that's what they're looking for, I guess, in the assistive technologies uh, section. And then finally, as always, the, the Hackaday Prize ends with the Anything Goes section, and that's uh, September 4th until the end in uh, mid-October, where you can build anything. It doesn't have to fulfill any of the criteria of, of above. It just has to be interesting, uh, I guess fun maybe, or, you know, I mean, they say uh, build whatever you think would benefit humans and the world we live in, so sure, but I guess here you can go a little bit fun or crazier or whatnot. Um, so yeah, those are the sections. And finally, I just wanted to touch on one more thing is that there's the the community voting is live. What this is, it's a bootstrap type of a deal where you get money, well, I mean, you could win some money up to $200 by the amount of likes that people get uh, give, I guess, on, on your project. So I don't know if we take the 4014 LED mini module here. This person already created this project and, and uh, they've entered it in the 2017 Hackaday Prize. And I guess uh, there's, I don't know if you just have to click on like this project or maybe, well, maybe or there, there's another step, but essentially the, the more likes a person gets, uh, it's $1 a like, so up to $200 you could win uh, just to get your uh, project going. Maybe help out with some of the costs or maybe buy a new multimeter or whatnot.
Right, so that's the bootstrap your idea up to uh, $200, and that's live now. So if you already have a project that you just want to bootstrap it or enter it, just um, enter it in the Hackaday price from the, uh, the Hackaday I.O. menu. Again, all the details are on the websites. Here are the judges for this year, and some returning faces and some new faces. And have a look. It's an interesting cast of characters, as always. So, um, yeah, the 2017 Hackaday Prize. Get involved. Create something. It could be just as simple as a concept. You don't have to build anything. And um, think of building something that matters. So um, I had an entry last year in the 2016 uh, Hackaday Prize. It was a what I called a grow cube. It was essentially an LED grow chamber for trying to grow some plants at home, maybe some vegetables or some microgreens. So I don't know what I'm going to do this year. If you want to have a look at my um, my entry from last year, the link is above. But um, yeah, once, uh, once I figure something out, I'll definitely give it a go. So uh, And you should too. So anyway, that's the Hackaday Prize 2017. It's now on. It's live. And um, get cracking. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, make sure to turn on notifications to receive updates whenever I post a new video. If you like what you saw, hit that like button as well.